Hello everyone, today I'll be eating and reviewing the Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag. Along with that, I'll be discussing the NASCAR race at Talladega, so let's dive right on in. Uh, first, let me show you guys what's in this Biggie Bag. First off, we got a bacon double stack right there, looking nice and juicy. Let's see, we got some Wendy's fries right there. I dropped a couple, awesome. Looks like we got four count chicken nuggets right here. I also got a blueberry pomegranate uh, lemonade, so that'll be nice. And then I got some BBQ sauce. So yeah, let me take this first bite and we'll get right on our discussion. Mm. God, I love Wendy so much. I feel like I've just like never had a, a bad experience with Wendy's food. It's just always been just positive. Oh, uh, actually, I will say, when they had that Rick and Morty drink, that was a little disappointing. I remember I had that on uh, my Wisconsin Dells trip with uh, a couple couple friends of mine, and that was a uh, that was a time of its own. But yeah, that uh, I don't know what it was called, but yeah, that Rick and Morty drink was not very good. This is good though. But yeah, I apologize for uh, my little bit of a hiatus on making videos here. Kind of, kind of been working on the music stuff lately, and that's kind of been taking priority. I also got sick last week with like a really bad stomach flu, so that kind of put me out of commission for a while. But I'm back and better than ever, baby. All right, it's time to eat some of these nuggets. Dip it in the barbecue sauce. Yum yum. Give me some. Mm. Good. Of course, I got my little friend right here, Mr. Humphrey, uh, the third, I guess. Uh, do you want to dig in on some of these fries? Nope. Sure you do. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Went right through them. Crazy. But yeah, I feel like Wendy's just puts out a very good, just full uh, product, uh, food quality wise. I mean, uh, let's see. I. I honestly would take these over McDonald's fries. I know it's kind of a controversial take, but I don't know. These are really good. I also probably would have gotten a Frosty, but I feel like it would probably have uh, melted on the way home, so I kind of decided against that. This is also really good. I guess I can talk about the NASCAR race now, since that, uh, the Cup Series race just, uh, ended. I'll talk about the Xfinity race first, because that was, that was pretty much like a Death Race 300. That was, uh, I, I don't know. I, it, it produced very good racing, but it was just kind of, a uh, I don't know. When you, ha so there was, uh, two flips in the race, and, uh, two, like, really big crashes. The last one took out, like, over 20 cars. And I don't know, that, that, that kind of product I just don't really care for. I mean, I'm glad that, uh, I'll show you the car that won. Uh, so, Jeb Burton won. This is his, let's see, his two, 2019 uh, LS Tractor car. It's a nice looking car. I'm very glad that he won, by the way. But, I don't know, that race was just, it just felt like a lot of stupid moves culminating to just a lot of just very just scary wrecks. And I don't know. Because the first wreck was with Dexter Stacy, who hit the uh, wall a ton, and then after and during that process, he clipped Blaine Perkins, who got hit by Jade Buford, and that sent him flying through the air, barreled a bunch, and luckily he was both the drivers were okay. But yeah, that was a that was one of the wildest rides I've seen in a while. And then the race went on for a while, had a few wrecks here and there, and then. 
with like three to go. Uh, Daniel Hamrick threw a late block and took himself and about half the field out, and then he went f uh, flipping down the, uh, I think, turn four, which, I mean, it's not not great when you cause the big one twice in a row for uh, Daniel Hamrick. Not, uh, not the greatest move on his decision. Not the... I should say, not the greatest move on his part. So yeah, overall the racing was very aggressive, and it was very good at points, but it was also just, it kind of felt like the race was just got out of control, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Now the cup race, however, was I thought was pretty good. Um, I think the next-gen plate package is alright. It's definitely not as good as it could have been, but I think it's it produced all right racing. Stage one was kind of boring. They couldn't really pass a lot, so just kind of double file, just kind of like two trains going. Uh, there was there was a couple of pit road incidents, one with Tyler Reddick and another one with Chase Briscoe, where he pretty much was stuck doing donuts on pit road because the car doesn't have because the tires don't have airliners for some reason. And then stage two was getting better. They could kind of pass, but it was I, it was mostly like uh, Ryan Blaney and Ty Gibbs up in front, which they were doing a pretty good job. And then I thought stage three was, I thought that was a very good uh, stage. Um, let's see. Also, I should say this uh, review is in respect to uh, Noah Gregson, who was probably having the race of his career, and then uh, Rasha Stain decided to make it three wide, and uh, yeah, that ended that, but this is, let's see, this is his Wendy's car from 2022. I thought this one was very nice. What is that? But yeah, he made it, th he made it three wide, took Gregson out. Larson, Larson uh, got spun out and got absolutely T-boned by Ryan Priest, who decided to full, thro full throttle into him for some reason. I don't know what uh, what his plan there was. And then they re-racked them, restarted them. A couple guys ran on the ga gas. Ty Gibbs did. And then we go on to the last lap, and we had Mr. Bubba Wallace throw uh, three pretty ridiculous blocks uh, to Ryan Blaney. He wrecks himself and half the field. And then Kyle Busch goes on and uh, wins the race, which I thought which was fine. I'll show you Kyle's car. This was his 2022 Skittles Lime car. And he drove at Road America, which is a race I went to. But yeah, Kyle Busch gets a second win of the Kyle Busch gets a second win of the year. Still going on home. <laughs> it's such a contrast from uh, the Burger King mukbang I did with Matt and uh, the Dingmans. Just, just quality pro quality ingredients in this, and not garbage. I was actually planning on doing a Hungry Man review today, but I just kind of, I was, I was, I took it out of the freezer, I was looking at it, I was like, man, I don't really want this today. So then I just did Wendy's instead, and I think I made the right choice. Also, I was going through my uh, phone gallery, and I found a... A video that I recorded for, I think it was like, I think it was the BTS meal from McDonald's. I don't think I ever, I don't think I posted that one, so. You might, you guys might be getting two videos in a row. Because, yeah, that was one I uh, recorded on my phone, if I remember correctly, so I don't think I posted that one. So, yeah, I might edit both of, the, both of those to, uh, together. to a micro wrestling uh, yesterday with a couple of my friends that was a that was an interesting event for sure it was basically wrestling with a bunch of uh, little people I guess I could call them I don't I don't know what the politically correct term is for them anymore but yeah it was a good event the people there the uh, 
uh, spectators there were kind of kind of trashy, but you know, it's a wrestling event. What do you expect? I'm not the most high class man either, but there's a lot of uh, trailer trash people there, which I mean, it's whatever. Actually, I've gone to a couple of events recently. I went to a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert with Seth a few weeks back. And that was really good. There was a there was like a fallen drum circle happening outside with a bunch of people like screaming. So that's uh it's typical. Nice little cross section there. And I went to a hundred gex concert. That was a uh, that was pretty wild. I almost got pulled into like through mosh bits and almost died. Holy f Jesus! Don't scare me like that. You want another bite? Oh, I probably shouldn't give you this bite. You want an onion? Okay, no, I'll give you an onion then. Uh, I'll give you a bite of the burger. There you go. Munch away, dude. It's a, it's a wild thing of, like, how long I've had him. Like, he's been a staple of my channel for, like, a long time. Um, One day I'll film uh, Humphrey's origin story to show where he got, how he got here. That'll be a fun uh, little project. I'm trying to think of some other like interesting uh, talking points. Uh, I know Creator Clash Two happened. Uh, I didn't watch it because I couldn't find an illegal stream of it. I mean, it seemed didn't seem like it uh, had the same impact as last year's event because because the Idubs uh, decided to tank this one by kicking Froggy Fresh out, which I don't. I don't know anymore. That dude is controlled by his uh, OnlyFans girlfriend. It's pretty sad to see what uh, what he's become. Like you, can, like you can have her as a GF. Who cares? But don't let her control your entire life and your business. That's when it gets uh, out of control. I know Sam Hyde started his like uh his fish tank stream. That's been pretty fun to watch. That man is just insane. And, and he was a part he's a part of the career class controversy too, so that dude is like rolling in the internet clout. God, I wish it would get like warm out soon. Oh, Damn TV it. just started up. Awesome. I don't know how that turned on by itself, but you know what? All right, I'll turn that off. Jesus. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm, I really wish it was it would get warm soon. It's like April and it's still like 30 degrees outside. <laughs> that makes no sense. The weather lately has just been ridiculous. I don't, I don't get what's going on with the temperatures anymore. I'm not a meteorologist. Oh, also, I watched a video today from uh, Alternate History Hub about, oh, uh, what if Big Bird was in the uh, the Challenger explosion? That was a pretty good one, and like Big Bird. Uh, there, there was talks of putting him on the Challenger, so that is possible. But he pretty much came to a conclusion that if they put Big Bird on, it the Challenger probably wouldn't have exploded because um, 
they were going to delay it on the day because it was like really cold out, but I think someone from the higher ups pretty much told them they had to do it that day and then exploded. Uh, but I, but that was because they had the teacher on there. And the whole teacher program was big publicity at the time, so they didn't want to ruin that. But I'm guessing if they had Big Bird on there, I don't think they really would have cared much. They probably would have delayed it and would, would have gone fine. So yeah, Big Bird would have saved like seven people's lives, but you know, can't have it. Can't always have it our way. Finish out the fries and I finished out the burger, so I just got I have one nugget left, damn. We'll give you guys an HD view of this. Let's see, there we go. I'll dip it like that. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, these nuggets are so good, dude. Alright, well that was the Wendy's Biggie Bag for you. Uh, that was a good meal. I'd probably give that, like, I'd say... Honestly, that's four and a half, four and a half stars out of five for me. Like that was just, it was a solid. You got a burger, you got uh, nuggets, you got fries, you got a drink. I mean, what else could you want? Um, let's see. It's good to talk about NASCAR too. That was a, it, it was, it was an interesting weekend. That's that is for sure. I'm definitely glad that uh we got over that sickness. So that was nice. Uh, Humphrey, what do you want to say to the general audience before uh we adios out of here? Very impactful words. Thank you, bud. All right. Well, thank you for uh, joining me in this nice little dinner, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.